Welcome to the Mary Boozers <laughs> RC <laughs> channel. Today we have our Hangar 9 Blue Nose Mustang. This was given to me by a good friend of mine named Rudy. He Valley. was Ruby Rudy Valley. He was the club president of our Webster Field that we fly at. If you go way back in our videos, he's actually been on the channel before. He's been in the videos. Um, he originally had this on a nitro engine. For a hundred four stroke 104 stroke nitro engine Sado. and Rudy decided that he wanted to give me this airplane so not to say anything bad I gave Rudy his nitro motor back and we have converted it to electrics now uh, we're gonna be running 6s 5000 smart batteries in here we have a 100 amp smart Avion ESC and we have the E-Flight 1500 millimeter power system and prop on this airplane so. and it fit perfectly. So we're hoping it, the plane weighs about the same as the foam one, funny enough. It's a little bit heavier, but not much. Um, so we're thinking this is going to be perfect. Well, we're hoping. I mean, you know, we... One way we, to find out, right? Well, as we always say, <laughs> proof is in the video. That's right. So. Yeah, I, I, like I say, I put put everything in the plane. Uh, got a lot of room, uh, easy conversion. Mm -hmm. Can't say anything. I, I didn't use exactly what they had provided. We used a metal mount. Right. Well, and now that kind if, of thing. But if you wanted to buy one of these, what I'm going to do? Hangar Nine still makes a Mustang the same size and everything. It's just not the blue nose anymore. It's green and silver now. I'll link that one down in the description because it's very close to the same. And if you wanted to make this, I guarantee you, if this works, It'll that work one on will too. One. And uh, I just like having that scale four bladed prop as another reason I wanted that E Flight power system. We could have always done, you know, an E Flight power 100 else. or however. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got that exact same system so I could run that exact well, same. Well, we prop. like to show people or give e e people an easy way right. to pick this power system out. Or let's say a guy already has the E Flight Mustang and, and he flies it for a while and then an accident happens and he has a power system laying around. Right. There you go. And I mean, you already in. got the, you, you already had the, uh, the electric mm -hmm. E51 mm -hmm. and you've saved the power system. So, well, put it stick, into something else. There put it you into go. one of these wood planes. Yeah. So that's what, what, what we're trying to do, guys, is show these wood planes and how easy it is to convert them. Now, Hangar and, 9 and, did and a great that, job back Well, in the yeah, day, I mean, and, and Hangar 9 probably tells you the power system to put in it. They do. And not to say that they're wrong. We're just but wanted we're to do something different. But we're trying to give them a little bit different, and we're still giving you the, the Horizon mm -hmm. equipment. Right. Power supply, the receiver, and the ESC. Yep. All smart technology, here it is in a wood plane. Yep. So I will say it's absolutely beautiful. The uh, details on this airplane, it's the printed uh, free finishing. Uh, it's got hatches all over it. We'll get some shots in. I'm sure Lori's been cutting them in this whole time, honestly, over us talking. But let's quit talking. Yeah, let's get this thing out Papa there. Papa don't have to dot this one. Nope. nope and let's nope. go let's, see how it flies. So. I'm, I'm waiting. All right. Here let's we go. go. All right, guys, here we are out at the runway with our Hangar 9 Mustang all converted. I will say that this does, having, does not have a tailwheel that is steerable. It is a freewheeling tailwheel. So, could be a little exciting on this takeoff until I get the tail now, flying. Just, just so you know, we're, we've got about a seven mile an hour wind and it's kind of coming from right to left. So that means that the plane is going to kind of come, come at us. to the right. <laughs> so it could come to the right, but just so you know, seven miles an hour and, it, and it's coming about this direction here. So, anyway, so once guys, I get the air going over the tail, we should be yeah. good. So here we go. Let's hope for the best, right? Yep. Go baby, go. Oh, all right, so we're up. I've got full right elevator right now. I'm gonna to go to mid. I'm gonna also give it some trim. Our converted. I'd like D a little nose weight, you were right, Dad. It's not super tail heavy or nothing, but it's- It needs a little nose weight. It needs weight. a little bit. Just a little bit. It'll probably make it fly a little bit There's better. half throttle, but yeah, I can see that yeah, it's kind of- yeah. Yep. Now that guys, the wind is gusting up there. I, mean, I imagine it's a little bit more gusty up there where he's at, but I'm I'm sitting here at about eight miles an hour. And that's just a click over half throttle right there. He's flying downwind at this time. 
Oh yeah. Back into the wind, seven miles an hour. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. She's up on the step now, looking good. This airplane did originally fly on a four stroke Sado engine. And I'm not being too crazy. First flight, guys, just getting used to it. I definitely want some nose weight before I really start ringing this out. I can feel it's, it's light in the nose. But we were close. Oh, Guys, baby. The, the, uh, and, and the only thing you can do wrong is get it tail heavy. Yep, and this one, it needs a little bit of tail. I mean, nose weight. But not a lot. Yeah. You'll find out when you're landing it if it's if the tail kind of porpoises on the back end, on the tail weight. If so I'm going to come by. Tail heavy, it'll porpoise kind of sit there and go up and down. I'm going to put one notch of flaps out and see what it feels like. One notch. Second notch. Hey, that's not bad. Coming up. Guys, as Motor we said, coming in. If we said in the intro of this, we converted this plane from the E flight electric Mustang. Mustang. It's the not new, as fast. The new Mustang. It's not as fast, but I can tell this isn't as fast as the E flight, but it's still got plenty of power. I mean there I am right about half. Half throttle, yes. Where are you find it as far as the control? Full, full aileron? Full aileron. Uh, I'm in half elevator. Okay, it's a typical. I could probably go down a little bit more on the elevator. Yeah, I think I've got 75%, which is the spectrum call out in the book. Once again, guys, not getting too crazy right now. Typical Warbird as far as the setup on the throws. Full ailerons, uh, but the elevator is normally about half. Oh, man. And it's just a docile airplane it's pretty airplane. breezy right now. oh yeah it's 10 miles an hour right here it's let's see 10. let's go gear out let's come in for touch and go i'm not going to let it get slowed down because i don't want to have to worry about that non-flying well, tail again it, another thing is guys watch the, the tail heavy will porpoise in a way when it gets slower oh look at him screws that baby in holy lovely Ooh. We got a little weird bounce there at the end. Well, I think you kind of got a little crosswind on that one that compressed it down. Right but yeah, it end. flew good. I mean, this flies great. Fly it in. It's a typical Mustang. It likes landing on the wheels. We're, we're at Not nine miles an hour right now. I mean, it's pretty gusty, guys, for nine for this airplane. You can see it kind of. Yeah, I can feel it. it. You can push it into the wind. Woo! It's. Yeah. Uh, I think that maybe that being a little bit tail heavy. Tail heavy. Yep. It's, making that it's not bad guys, I can fly it, but I definitely want some nose weight. It's got, a, it's got those tendencies that tells you it's tail heavy. Yep. Not a lot. Not a lot, but if you want to really see tendencies, get one really tail heavy. <laughs> you, want, you want to... Man, you want to, it flies good though. It does. Well, I mean, you know, it, it flies, or it seems like it has the same characteristics as the foam P-51. It does. I mean, it, it really... It's uh, quiet. I, you know, if you was to tell me that that was the foamy, I wouldn't probably know the would difference. Agree it. You'd probably not tell up in the air like this. Well, the tail would be up more when you get that. Right. The nose. You can tell it's definitely tail heavy, though. It needs, it needs mm, not half much. an ounce. Yeah, maybe. Not much. Well, if you had that 7,000 in the front, you probably don't need any. Right. Oh, look at this. Pulling over the top. Oh, hey, the power system is right. Oh, yeah. We did it. We oh, did yeah. It. Plenty of power on this model. Plenty. I mean, you know, you guys, there's other, there's other motors, as we said, that you could get from E-Flight. Uh, like this, I don't know, uh, the 100 amp, the 100 yeah. Ooh, equal uh, to I 100. can feel it every once in a while, though, that tendency to want to fall out because of that tail wave. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're going to come in. That's five minutes. I feel safe. We're good. I want yeah. I want nose weight, though. I'm going to do one notch of flaps. Not all of it because it's tail heavy, and I'm already going to have to fight her a little bit on the way in. We don't want to get it slow. Slow would be bad with this tail heavy right now. This particular airplane, you can put almost any motor in it. Fly it in. Fly her in. Keep uh, power in. Seven, too. eight miles an hour. Eight miles an hour. Six. 
I'm gonna keep the power in so I have control over the tailwheel and, and uh, freewheel and tailwheel. <laughs> I'm not driving it back either, so we'll see y'all back at the bench because it kind of does whatever it wants. And uh, we're gonna go get it and bring it back over here. All right, guys, we're back here at the shop. We've got our Hangar 9 Blue Nose. It has successfully been maiden and flown. We really enjoyed it. If you watched our live show of it, we were having a lot of fun. One issue we did have was the tail wheel was freewheeling at the time. But it's fixed now. But it's fixed now. So we're going to get it back out and fly it some more. But man, I, this was perfect with that E-Flight power let's system. Let's be a little bit more specific. They do not make this particular design anymore, no. but they still make this airplane. Yes. It, so you guys can, you just can't get the blue nose, but you can still buy this airplane it's, from Hangar 9. It's green now. It's green and, and uh, you know, just so you know that. Now, the other thing that I think, man, you both was impressed with is that the power system we chose for, mm -hmm. since it is a balsa plane, mm -hmm. we thought it might be a little heavier than the foamy, but... It was perfect. 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 Yeah, this is the power system from the E-Flight 1500 millimeter Mustang, uh, same ESC. Now, all the servos that are different because we had these and we used them. I think these are high tech in here. Now, you yeah. could have probably used the same ones. But probably. These were already done and paid for kind of deal, wow. so that's what's in it. But as far as the motor and the ESC, guys, it's the 1500 millimeter, uh, I forget what they actually call it. Uh, it was the Chuck Yeager paint job. Anyway, you guys have seen it. It's blue, it's yellow. Kind of looks yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, kind of looks like that. But if you get that motor and power system prop, it's it's everything right off of that airplane, and it flies the. Heck we out got a hundred amp ESC. Mm -hmm. Smart ESC. Smart. Yep, it's an avion. We have the smart uh, AR AR six seven six three six three seven T. Uh, new spectrum thing there, and the ESC. hundred amp ESC. And working great there, you know, you're, you're, all this technology, you can read through your mm -hmm. radio. Which That's is, cool, yeah. Uh, I mean, really you know, cool one style. of the neat things is we didn't do it with this exact plane, but we were working on another Balsa airplane, and we set it down yesterday. And I was like, I wonder how many amps it pulls. Well, we just flipped over to the amp screen on the radio, one on full power, go. and it said I'm reading I mean, 50 amps. I was like, well, we're way good. When, we got 100 yeah, amp when, right Whenever you're putting these uh, power system in, you can, you can see what yeah. the form you Well, can, it, it's you, fun you, right on the fly. You can change props, too, yeah. and you can make sure that you're not pulling too Over many amps. amps right there. Right you don't got to hook up an amp meter. Yeah. It's on your radio now. There you you go. switch props. Like, if I wanted to put a different prop on this airplane right now, I could slap it on there, run it up to full throttle, and see how many amps it pulls right there on my radio. But what I'd really like to know is actually the performance between the two. Is the phony right. faster than this one? I you look on the video, guys. This thing is screaming. Well, <laughs> it has. <laughs> we will be at the flying with Ryan here in uh, two or three weeks now, yeah. and we'll take them both, and they'll have a radar gun out there, and we'll find out. That'll but, be easy. But I'm telling you guys, the foamy and the, and this are really close. I mean, yeah. look at it in the video. This thing is not slow. Mm -mm. Period. Uh, and if you want to balsa plane and you don't want to guess about the power system yeah the 60 size hanger 9 this is mustang what, yeah this, this is, is what it. we're trying to show you we're, we're trying to help you here as far as the power mm -hmm. system setups in these airplanes and the proof is in the video as we say so i can't go any farther than that yep and I, now there's a b model coming eventually to we the will have the b model i i built an old top flight B model many years ago and it had a 91 two stroke I'm ripping all that stuff out and we're gonna put the same thing in that the, and it's the it's uh, almost, yeah it's yep. the same uh, almost the same size as this uh, and we'll see how it does it'll be fun too so be looking forward to that guys yep. uh, like share subscribe get out there and fly with your friends as always guys if you want to check out the merch store I'm gonna try and link all of the parts that we used for this down in the description the smart esc and that kind of things that way if you want one you can always hit our affiliate links down in the description we make a little bit of commission on that helps support the channel but we're going to put that link down below where you can use that to buy any of the parts you see here and if you want i'm going to also link the new hangar 9 mustang for you to get now so one of the other things i want to say and i always want to say it is think you 
every one of you that support the channel and subscribe to our channel. Mm -hmm. It just is, it, it makes us feel good that somebody is <laughs> actually watching, watching the channel and, <laughs> and what we're doing is correct. But thank you so much yeah. for, for our, your support. Yep. So guys, we'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.